I've said it for ages, I've always felt really passionately about social media taking more of a responsibility across everything. You know, the content that is being shown on their platforms, they should be across it. They should have access and the ability and the funding to be able to take down some of the websites that her father was describing, you know, where they encourage self-harm and suicide as if it's a trend, as if it's exciting. These things shouldn't be online. Mm -hmm. They know what the algorithm is. I, I do have a real issue with everyone going, it's not my fault, not my problem. You've got to police it, you've got to police yeah. it, you've got to police it. Well, no one... I mean... Instagram, Instagram does have guidelines on this. Guidelines is a key word. They say posts shouldn't glorify self-injury, while searches using uh, suspect words such as hashtag self-harm are met with a warning. They say they will remove posts and disable accounts if reported. However, users are easily able to view the pictures by ignoring the offers of help. So they kind of send messages of help. Take um, them off. I just don't just take buy them it. Down, take yeah. them off. Yeah. If, you, if you're <clears throat> policing and monitoring your site properly, mm. you'll see it, you'll think, that's not right, children shouldn't be looking at this. Firstly, their age limit is 13. Yeah. They've never policed that. So you're talking, there's seven, eight, nine, ten-year-olds on there and they're aware of it and they know it, OK? Mm -hmm. So there are all these children that have access to everything that's on Instagram. There are no restrictions whatsoever. And they should be responsible yeah. for that. Can or I, your can idea, I just, everybody. Can I just put my point of view? Because obviously when I was sure. bringing children up, I didn't have to deal with uh, Instagram and Facebook and everything. But what I genuinely do not understand, why would... Facebook, who owns this particular uh, website we're talking about, why would they want to see children committing suicide, self-harming? Well, I, mean, I don't I, think there's no, any no, suggestion... No, hang on, no, okay. no, but, no, no, but, hang on a minute. I don't I think there's any suggestion that they want to see children But why um, do they allow it then to be there? But we have to be careful about that. I mean, you God, know, the, the, God, their response me. again... and. We're just having the discussion. It's a really important discussion to have. So it's really important to hear their point of view, whether you agree with it or not. They say mental health and self-harm are complex and nuanced issues. We work with expert groups who advise our approach. They tell us that the sharing of a person's mental health journey or connecting with others who've battled similar issues can be an important part of their recovery. Just let me finish it and then absolutely. This is why we don't remove certain content and instead offer people looking at or posting it support messaging that directs people to groups that can help. So uh, I'm just saying that's still their line. On it then? I mean, they can put up whatever front they want and give whatever statement they want. Why do they still exist? Why do families like what the one we've seen... What do you want to seen? happen? What do you want I want to more happen? policing. I want the government to step in. I want somebody to do something. Because the, the pictures that we're seeing, whether you're talking about IS originally and beheading or whether you're talking about young people, you know, in this so-called group who are you know, talking about suicide. I mean, it's such an unhealthy thing for any young children to have to, uh, to, have to put up with. And plus the fact, and I'm not blaming parents either, mm. but I am sometimes horrified when I see the age of young children who have televisions and computers in their bedrooms. And there seems to be very little policing there sometimes. Well, well but I, I do think we've got to be careful of, of an absolute scattergun here and saying, you know, that that's bad, you don't have a television. There'll be a lot of people here whose kids have got a television in their bedroom. And I said young people. Though. The problem I said is, young okay, people. I didn't, I didn't say 18, 19 year old, 20 year old. It isn't about who's got what, when, why, when, where. The problem is, is there is no restriction. I can put child restrictions on my computers. I can put settings here, there and everywhere. And yet still that content is around and is available to the wrong people. Right, okay. And that's my Sure, problem. but when you say that content... Now, what their argument is, and I'm only putting their argument, is that when people are um, going through mental health issues, that often the sharing of their issues with other people who've perhaps had similar experience, they can see as positive. And that's wonderful. So how do you... You know, they will say make they a difference between aware. the two. They're fully aware of what the difference okay. is. They're, they are fully aware of what is inappropriate for the 8, 9, 10, mm. 11, 12, 13, 14 year olds that are on their platform to see and what is actually encouraging and uplifting and can, like you said, there's, there's a million incredible ways of getting people together on the internet to be able to discuss important topics yep. and issues that haven't necessarily been discussed in the past and I well, appreciate that. I mean, I agree with a lot of what you say, personally, but it is mm. important to put their side of things. I mean, in Germany, um, the government insists that these platforms can't have anything to do with Holocaust denial. And, and they insist that these social media platforms abide by that, so there can be a so level of control. Be. There yeah, can yeah. be. Um, 
I also think on a more general level, I think we need to pay a lot more attention to young people's mental health. Yeah, yeah absolutely. In schools, in the home, in every environment that they're in, to try and build their resilience. Not that they should have to deal with this, but sometimes we just think, oh, childhood's happy, it's fine. Mm. And actually, they're facing a lot of challenges, and I'm not sure that we have the kind of structures there in the NHS and schools to, mm. to support them. But it, it's, it's a huge... It's a huge subject. Huge subject. It's a huge subject. Um, advice on how to keep your kids safe online is on our website.